Okay, we're going to take a look at a clipping mask. Clipping masks are pretty neat um, because what it does is it enables you to put a picture inside your text or behind your text. Again, this is called a clipping mask. If you take a look over here at my layers panel, you'll see I have a layer of text that is the word marble. And right now it's hidden, but I also have a layer that is a marble texture. What I want to do is I want this word marble to shine through the texture um, so that it looks like the marble is in the background. And this is really a very simple process. I need to make sure that my layer with the texture or the image is on top of the text with the layer. Then I'm going to activate or make my marble layer the selected layer. Then I'm just going to go up into the layer menu and I'm going to come down and choose Create Clipping Mask. Okay, and you see I have the word marble with the marble text shining through. But white on white makes it a little difficult to read, so I'm going to go back to my text layer and I'm going to add some layer effects to it. So with the text layer selected, I'm going to go up to the um, layer menu and I'm going to go down to Layer Style and I'll click on Blending Options. This dialog box displays. The first thing I want to do is turn on the drop shadow. Once I click on the actual words drop shadow, it will show me the options I have to manipulate the drop shadow. Also, I want to add a bevel and emboss. And you'll see just clicking to turn something on doesn't necessarily show you the properties or the options for that particular layer style. I have to actually click on the words. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and choose OK to apply these. And you can see in the layers that I have the effects. The FX is a visual cue that you have effects on that particular layer. And what these effects are, they're bubble and emboss and drop shadow. Maybe I'm still not liking the marble with the white background. I can go to my background layer and I can change the background color to something different, like maybe a light gray and fill. The control backspace is your keyboard shortcut for that. Uh, fill the background layer with the gray color that I selected. Okay, and that is my quick and simple procedure for clipping masks. And also, I've got some text effects thrown in there. I hope that you find this useful. Thanks.